What's going on YouTube? This is Christian AJ with the Officials once again here at OnyxCon 2016. Now I'm here talking to Brian McGee and David Armour Relay of the comic book or of the graphic novel correction right there of Brother Man. Now you guys already know we're, we're setting up to do a review on the book, but I'm excited to hear talk to the people who are behind the book itself. How you guys doing today? Doing good. We're doing really good. You enjoying the con? Fantastic. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have not already come to Onyx Con, y'all need to come to Atlanta. It's one of the biggest cons celebrating both diversity and artistic creation on the East Coast. I'm telling you right now. But that's enough about that. Um, please, you know, for the people out there who don't currently know, please tell us about Brother Man. Uh, Brother Man, actually, it's been around for 25 years, and it's a, uh, about a, a man battling social apathy in this fictitious city called Big City. His name is Antonio Valor, and he's a lawyer. So it's all, it's, you know, it's all mythological and it's a universe that we created. Okay. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. Feeling that. Now, let me ask you, what were some, some of the difficulties? Because looking at this book, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna see this right on the screen, okay? It is very artistically diverse. So many colors, so many, so many different art styles bringing into it. At, um, when you guys were created, did you guys have the difficulty in establishing one single art style or was it multi-diverse from the get-go? Well, I mean, that's a hard question to answer because the, uh, what you're seeing on the pages is the result of an evolution. It took maybe six years to figure out what we were going to do, the way we were going to do it. Um, I approached Dawood back in 2004 uh, to, to try to get him to bring back this comic book that I love so much in my 20s. And back then it was a black and white book and I wanted to add something else to it, yet not step on the pages, not step on the story, but and not make it all about the colors. It's all about the story and I wanted to serve that the best I could. And, you know, I think we came up with something that is, uh, sub, it's, it's a little sublime, um, but it still is very stately. It makes a, an impact when you open the pages. Oh, it, it impact like Meteor Man, impact like Jordan. I'm telling you right now, like if you guys don't already know like about this book, I got, I know I keep repeating myself, but this is what I'm talking about. The fish towns are all about support the craft, and I'm definitely supporting this book. I'm putting my stamp of approval on it. You guys can check out our review we'll coming out later on. Now I gotta ask you guys, um, with this one, you said the story and the art, and it all came together to a fusion. Um, because this is a quarter of a century in the making, like I, as you stated, what were, like, how has the story how has the project evolved from you know from your brains to, to the finally the paper? Well, I think it's like anything else. It's like raising a child. You know, when when we first did the book from the uh, from ninety to ninety six, you know, it was a black and white series. And since that time, I had gained studio experience. I, I used to work on the show Wild Thornberries as a character designer. I worked in um, on Broadway, and I worked in uh, Hollywood and. Um, here in Atlanta at different um, animation studios. So with that, with that experience, now coming back to doing Brother Man, I'm in a different space than I was in when I was 25 years old. When prior to that, I had pretty much, you know, street art education. Okay. So now I'm, I'm, I'm approaching this with another mind state. And then on top of that, personal experiences in my life, I was able to add to the story because the story has an emotional impact on a lot of people. But that's because of the, of the things that we experience in life that we can put into the book to add more character, you know what I mean? Yeah. So how would you say that your own personal experience has, has impacted the art of the book? My personal experience has impacted the book in a way that I am I have a background in film. Oh, I didn't even know that. Like, first of all, I gotta shake your hand on that one. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a storyboard artist. I've worked in feature films, music videos, and presently working on Walking Dead. But um, for me, lighting a scene is almost more important than the color. So the experience that I learned from my work in films and work in studying uh, classical art has allowed me to uh, kind of uh, put a little extra something into the pages. I find that, you know, lighting a scene is just as important as the mood that you get from the color. So it's all mind control. You know, bro, as, as, some, as someone who studies film craft myself, I gotta definitely 100% agree with that. First of all, congratulations on The Walking Dead and, you, and all your other successful projects. Now, um, I, you guys already know that we're gonna we're gonna promote this, we're gonna shop this out, because that's what we do, all about all about support the craft, but where can people find the book? Where can people find you guys? How can they contact you or anything else? Real simple, just uh, log on to brothermancomics.com, and that's comic, C-O-M-I-C-S. Dot com and that that'll connect you to all our social networking and you know all that other stuff. And yourself? Uh, www.theartofmcgee and that's T H E A R T O F M C G E E dot com. Theartofmcgee dot com. 
all right but you know us we're, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and include all the links in the description down below make it easy for you guys because if it's easier to find it's easier to appreciate easier to fall in love with like a beautiful woman who had my child i cannot get enough of this book right here i'm telling you right now once again this is mason aj with the officials with Brian McGee. <laughs> and Daoud Anyabwile. All right. Once again, tune in next time. Hey, hey. To be goodness right here. <laughs> but I'll tell you about them later. You got to stay. You got. You know that me and Lester Scott would never, ever agree on anything. Yeah. Even when we agree, it's more, yeah, I'll kind of give that to you. This is the first time where I saw the movie. I was like, it's 10 out of 10. He saw the movie. It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So both of us, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. It's 10, 10 out of 10. 10.